Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to continue our study on organic chemistry. We are moving into another homologous series, another family of organic compounds and we are looking at the carbonyls, okay? Specifically, we are looking at the carbonyls, okay, carbonyl compounds, but specifically we are looking at all the hydrides, all the hydrides and ketones, okay? Ketones. Okay, so I'll tell you why I'm, spe I'm seeing specifically all the ice and ketones among the carbonyl uh, groups, okay? So now, uh, but before then, uh, it's good to know that this tutorial is brought to you by the OTL School Jam CBT Practice app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. If you want to succeed and perform amazingly well, you should get that app on your phone right now without wasting any time. Before I talk about the app, let's see a question from the app. This is a 1995 question from Jam number 47. It is being currently displayed on your screen. They say the functional group present in the compound above is... Okay, A says it's an alkanol, it is being displayed, so you are seeing it. B says an alkanol, C says an alkanone, D says an alkanoid. There are many other questions from this app that we are going to look at after the class. Because in this OT schools, we believe in giving you value first. Learn. Once you have learned, then answering questions is the, is the simplest thing or simplest exercise you can do. So let's give you knowledge and then let's come back to the app. So please get the application. The app also the past questions you need, so there's no need to go and buy past questions outside. The app also have the app also has what well, lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. Some of you will read without the jam syllabus. You are doing yourself a great disservice. All right. Also, there's question search feature where you can search for question according to topic. There's also what you call the UTM mock challenge that will for all students that are writing jam for a particular year. Okay. You compete with your mates, win prizes every Saturday. All right. Get to see your results. Okay. Get used to jam past questions and likely exam questions and build your confidence generally towards the exam. All right. So the app is an embodiment of success so please go and grab the app download it from play store and activate it immediately for sure success in your exam why don't you join us let us talk about all the highs and ketones first then we'll come back to answering questions from the app so all the highs are also called alkanas so for those of you who will say ah why all the highs okay you can also call them alkanas why ketones you can call them the alkanones the alkanones okay and um, this all the ice and ketones, we call them carbonyl compounds. We call them carbonyl compounds, all right? But carbonyl compounds, compounds rather, does not only involve only all the ice and ketones. Carbonyl compounds are compounds that have the C double bonded to O group in their formula. That means in their formula, you will find C double bonded to O in their formula. Those are what carbonyl compounds. Okay, so they are, apart from all the ice and ketones, we have what other carbonyl compounds like carboxylic acids, carboxylic acids or the arcanoic acids. They are what they are carbonyl compounds. They have what the uh, the general formula like this C double to O. Then what you now have OH. We have talked about what uh, we have talked about carboxylic acids already. All right. They also involve amides. Okay, amide is C double to O, NH two. Okay, this is what for amides. Okay, amides. Okay, they also involve esters. Okay, esters are like the general formula for esters. Okay, it's R O C O O R. Okay, so where you have what C double to O, they now have what O R. Okay, this is what esters. Okay, so it's also what as the carbonyl group. You can see they all have the carbonyl group in their formula. They have the carbonyl group in their formula. They also involve the thio esters. The thio esters. This thio esters, the general formula is written like this. You have C double to O, then you have what? Um, SR. Okay. Now SR. Okay. These are what thio what esters. Okay. These are thio esters. They have the carbonyl what functional group. Okay. In that formula. They also involve what even the acid what alides. The acid alides. They are also carbonyls. Okay. Acid alides. Okay, they are also carbonized. Those one, the general formula is C double to O. Okay, now I have S here, I have what R. These are what are uh, carbonized. Also have the acid and hydrides. The acid and hydrides. Let me show you. This is acid and hydrides. 
Okay, they also have what the general formula where you have what your R, you have C, sorry, C double border to O to O. Okay, you now have what here, you have O, yeah, you have C double border to O to O again. Yeah, you have your R prime, yeah, you have what your R. These are what acid, what anhydrous, and the likes. So, all these carboxylic acids, acid halides, acid anhydrides, thioesters, esters, amides. Uh, alkanas, alkanones, they are all carbonyl. The reason why they are called carbonyl is simply because they have this carbonyl group in their what in their formula. But specifically for this class, I'm going to involve ourselves only on what now on all the heights and what and ketones. Let us just see this is an introductory class, and of course we are going to maybe. Throw one or two ways we can what, name what uh, this compound, this all the ice and ketones. So join me. So if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is wrong. Okay, please make sure you like this video. Make sure you are sharing. If you are on Facebook, share. If you are on YouTube, share. If you are on uh, TikTok, share. If you are on Instagram, share. Please let other students will succeed. Okay, like you know, be only you so poor pass. Make everybody pass. All right. So please make sure you click on the like button and make sure you keep sharing what these videos. Now. Let us now talk about the aldehydes and the ketones, all right? So the aldehydes, we already know that they have the carbonyl group, all right, in their what in their formula. The general formula for aldehyde is what? Is R-O-C-H-O, okay? This is what R-O-C-H-O. And how do we draw the structure of this? That is what C, the word is what to O, then now have what your H, then here you have what your R, okay? This means that what for a compound to be an aldehyde or an alkanal, okay? Okay. It's more the carbon. The carbon must be directly bonded to one I to at least one hydrogen atom. The carbon must be that must okay. The carbon must be directly bonded. Okay, the carbonyl carbon must be directly bonded to at least one hydrogen atom for it to be an aldehyde. You must take note of that. Okay, and the second thing. For it to be an ODI is that it must appear, the ODI functional group must appear at the end or beginning of the chain. It cannot appear in the middle. Okay? So that is why you need to understand because some of you usually confuse aldehydes and ketones. They, they are functional groups. Some of you easily confuse them. Okay? So I'm making it clear for you. The first thing for it to be what a, an aldehyde is that what? It must have at least, the carbonyl carbon must have at least, must be directly bonded to what? One hydrogen atom. All right? Why the second one is that it must appear, the functional group itself must appear, must appear at the end or at the beginning of a chain. So, that means if you see a carbonyl functional group, okay, at the middle of a chain, then just know, first of all, that it can never be an aldehyde, okay? So it must be at the end or at the beginning, okay? That means if you have something like this, C, 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 okay? If you have what this zero, uh, carbon double border to O, okay? Then now have something like this, then you should know that this is what, this is an aldehyde. The reason is because it's at the end of the chain. If this carbon now, if this, this double bond is here, just know that this can never be an aldehyde again, okay? Because first of all, it is not at the end of the chain, all right? So please, you must take note of what of that. Now, let us continue. Then uh, it is good. Because we have done, we have, we, have, we have seen what the functional group, all right? We have said that what must be at the end of this chain. Okay, now, sorry, let me redraw this. If you have C double bonded to O, then here you have what your R. Sorry, here you have your, your H. Then here you have what your R, okay? This R that is here, okay, it can either be an what? A normal what R group, like what? A chi group, or it may be what? Hydrogen. Okay, so it may be an hydrogen atom or it may be any alkyl group. Okay, so now if we said if this area is a hydrogen atom, okay, then we are going to have C double bonded to O, then you are going to have H, then here you are going to have what H. Okay, so this makes it what now an aldehyde. Okay, but this aldehyde has a name, it's called what methanol. Methanol. Okay, it is good to know that what all the eyes are called alkanals. So once you are naming them, they must always have what this al at the end, a l al at the end. Okay, once you are naming them, that's why this is the simplest alkanal or the simplest all the eye that we have called what methanol. Okay, so if this area is H, okay, it is what methanol. If of course, if we have if you extend the word the chain, okay, have maybe two carbon atoms. Let's say we now have C. C, okay, the border to O, okay, so here is what now, H, all right, so uh, one, two, three, here is H, 
Yes, H. Yes, H. Okay, see, it's still appearing at the what end of the chain, isn't it? So that's why I have what. Um, uh, this is what now ethanol because it is the carbonyl group is appearing at the end of the chain and it is directly bonded to at least one hydrogen atom. Okay, so this is what now ethanol. You can extend the chain. Let's say we have C, C, C. Directly bonded to O. Okay, H. You complete your structure. All right, this will be what now propanol. This will be propanal. Okay, so now this is what methanal. This methanal is the simplest what all the high that we have. And apart from it being the simplest all the high, it has what another what common name that we call it formaldehyde. We call it formaldehyde. This methanal is also called what formaldehyde. This is the common name for what? For methanal. Formaldehyde. This is the formula. Okay? And of course, this formaldehyde is very, very important in biological what laboratory okay for uses the uses uh for uh, for this formaldehyde is that what it's used to want to store biological uh, specimens okay some of some, those of you that do uh, biology in your work okay that do biology practical in your work you see that what there's one smelling uh, this is that they used to what, store what uh, preserve what specimens okay so this formaldehyde is what very useful in that regard it is used for what for uh, preserving biological specimens please take note of that the other name for methanol is formaldehyde and it's used for storing or what for preserving biological specimens so that is all for the alkanas, okay? So alkanas, this is a general formula, and we say that carbonyl carbon, okay, must be directly bonded to an hydrogen atom, to at least one hydrogen atom, okay? This R group may be what? Either an hydrogen atom or any alkyl group, okay? So if this R is H, that's why we now have the first alkanal, or the simplest alkanal, or aldehyde, called what? The methanal, also called the formaldehyde. If we extend the chain, you see we have what? Ethanol, okay? We have what? Propanal, all right? So there's no need writing propan 1-al, because we can never have propan 2-al, okay? We can never have ethan 1, uh, ethan 1, uh, ethan 2-al, okay? So the only thing we can have is what? Is propan what? One, we can, we can only have propanal, we can only have propanal, because the carbonyl group is always at the end, can only appear, can only appear at the end of the chain okay so that is that for what for the alkanas so let us now go to the ketones so they are pretty similar but of course you just need to understand uh there are what their differences now when it comes to the ketones the ketones have a general formula arrow to co okay now there are a number of things you need to understand about the ketones. The ketones, they have, of course, the carbonyl group also, C, double water to O. Okay, they have R prime, you have what? R. All right? Now, these are a few things you need to know about the ketones. Ketones, for the ketones, all right? The ketones, the carbonyl, the, on either side of the carbonyl, you must have an R group on either side of the carbonyl, of the carbonyl uh, carbon, okay? Look at, for, for all the height, it was R, Okay, C double to O to O, they will now have H. Okay, so yeah, it, it may be hydrogen. Okay, yeah, must maybe what? Maybe any uh, any alkyl group or hydrogen atom. But for, for ketones, for the alkanones, okay, the, uh, the carbonyl carbon, okay, the carbon bearing the word double bond. Okay, this C double to O, this carbonyl carbon here, okay, on, the, on both sides of what of the carbonyl carbon, there must be an alkyl group. At both sides, at both ends, there must be an R group at both ends for it to be an what an alkanone. All right, so please you must take note of that. So that is why the general formula is what is R two CO because this R group is at this side. This other R group is what is on the other side because if the R group is not what on both sides, that means on the other side we may, we may maybe have what. A, an hydrogen atom, okay, and if because if it's an hydrogen atom, that means we are getting what and a what now, we are definitely getting what and all the high back, okay. So now let us see. The reason why this has to be like this is because ketones can never appear at the beginning of the chain. Ketones can never appear at the beginning of the chain or appear at the end of the chain. Ketones can only appear, okay, at the what at the middle of the chain. Unlike the all the highs, they can only appear at the end or at the beginning of a chain. Okay, but the ketones can only appear at the middle of a chain. So if you have let's say C C C C, okay, C like this, okay, and you have a carbonyl, you have what this 
Carbonai work group, C double to O at the end of the chain. Just know that what is an all the hide. Once you are naming, just know that what is an all the hide. Okay? If you have it at the beginning here, let's see here now, double to O. Okay? Just know that what is an all the hide because there will be an H here. Okay? So our CHO group, what will come out. Okay? But once it is at the middle of the chain, okay, it cannot be an all the hide any longer. But what? But a ketone. Let's say we have it somewhere here. Okay, so this is what this is definitely what a ketone. Okay, if you have it somewhere here, it's a ketone. Okay, if you have it somewhere here, it's a ketone. But once we have it at the ends, it's an what? It's an aldehyde. All right. So please take note of that. Take note of that. So ketones cannot be found. You cannot see ketones at the what? At the beginning of the chain. You cannot see ketone at the end of the chain. The only place you can find ketones are what? Are at the what? Are what at the middle of what of the chain, all right. That is why it must be directly bonded to what to two R groups. It must be directly bonded to what to two R groups for it to be a what a ketone. Please take note of that. If you do not understand anything I'm saying, you can ask your questions, all right, from the comment section, or what you can take the video back and what and try to watch it again and get the scope of what I'm saying. Okay, so now the simplest member of the ketones, okay, we do not have any take note that we do not have anything like methanol. Known. Methanol, no deal, e no deal. There's nothing like ethanol also. Ethanol, e no day. Okay? Because, see, let's say we have C double to O. Okay? All right, for this thing to be complete, there will be an H here. Okay? There will be an H here. Why do I say it for this structure to be complete? Because carbon can only be surrounded by four bonds. Okay? So one bond here, one bond here, one bond here, one bond there. So this will be an aldehyde. Because what? It's directly bonded to what? An hydrogen atom, not an R group. Okay? Yeah, also an hydrogen atom, not an R group. Okay? So now, this, so now we cannot have anything like what? Like methanol. If you have two carbon atoms, let's say C, C. If you put double bond here, C double to O here, you can see here, since it's two carbon, let's complete our structure. I want to show you something. Our structure. Yeah, so to complete this one, one, two, three, four. All right? So will this, will this be an alkanone or what? And all the hide. Okay? So definitely this can also be and what an arcanone. You cannot have an arcanone having two carbon atoms. You cannot have an arcanone having one carbon atom. You cannot have an arcanone having two carbon atoms. That's why the simplest arcanone, if I'm an examiner, this kind of question I will ask you. The simplest arcanone is propanone. Propanone is the simplest what arcanone available okay so there's nothing like methanone there's nothing like ethanone okay the simplest arcanone is what is propanone all right so please take note of that because it's only in propanone that we're going to have what is central carbon so for propanone we're going to have three carbons c c c then if we put a double bond and o here okay you see that what now that this ketone this carbonyl group okay is what at the middle of the chain, it is not at the beginning or what at the end. If it's for two carbons, we have one at the beginning. If it's for one carbon, it's only one carbon, so it will be at the beginning, so it's an aldehyde. All right, so that's why the simplest alkanone is what is a propanone. All right, so you can complete your structure H, 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 H. Okay, and if you see very well now, this is an R group, this is what C. The border to what to O, then this is what another what R group. So representing our what our general formula. All right. So this is what an alkanone. The simplest propanone uh, alkanone is propanone. Keep that in your head. If I if I want to ask you a question, that's what I will ask you. Okay. The simplest alkanone is what a propanone. All right. So now let us continue. Then now um, we can now have what butanone. So there's nothing like propanone. Propan 2 own, yeah, you cannot say propan 2 own. Now, 1, 2, 3. Okay, propan 2 own. There's nothing like propan 2 own. All right? This can only be what? Propanone. All right? So now, also, butanone. Okay, butanone. For butanone, you said that you put your double bond here because it cannot be here. Double bond to O can only be here. This carbonyl group can only be here. It cannot be here. If it's here, it's an all the high. If it's here, it's an all the high. It can either only be here or here. Okay? And of course, it's only, it will only be on what? On position two. If you start from here, one, two. Start from here, one, two. Okay? So that's why we don't have anything like butan two on also. Okay? The only thing we have is what is butan on. All right? So let's say it is here. It is butan on. If it is also here, it is also what butanone. Okay? So please take note of what of all that. All right? So now let us see. 
Let me just show you one more example and let's see if we we'll just answer questions from the app and then in the next class we'll continue from preparations of what of all the highs and ketones. Let's say we have let me use uh 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 let me use the stick form. Okay, let's say we have something like this. Oh, and then here we have what a methyl group. Let's say we have a methyl group here. Here we have what a an ethyl group. All right, so now we can name this compound, right? This is not at the end of the chain. So obviously, you already know that what this cannot be an aldehyde. It's a what? It's a ketone because it is not what at the end of the chain. So, but you have to number so that what the number, your smallest number will come, what will come, will be on what on this what on position of what of this carbonyl what group that is here. So now I'm going to have here one, there will be your two, there will be your three, there will be your four, there will be five, there will be six, there will be seven, there will be eight. Okay. So now our uh, ketone is on what on the second carbon, okay? But we have a methyl group here on the fifth carbon. We have an ethyl group on the what on the third carbon. So we are going to have three ethyl, okay? Three dash ethyl, okay? Then I'm going to have what now five methyl, okay? Propan two own, okay? Please take note of what of that. All right, so it's not propan. Two. Propan 2 1 or Propan 2 own. All right. So now that is what is how what, what we name what ketones. Okay. It's very, very easy. All right. So the only thing you need to bear in mind about all the ice and ketone is that what? That all the highs cannot appear at the middle of what of a chain. Okay. Can, they can only appear at the end or at the beginning. Why ketones can only be found at the middle of the chain. Okay. They cannot appear at the beginning or at the end. All right. So please take note of that. So now let us jump to the O3 School Jam CBT Practice app and let us take some questions and uh, we'll be done with this class. Let us see. The question we're looking at 1995 number 47. They say the functional group represented in the compound above, which is being displayed on the screen right now, is what? You can see the uh, the group, the CHO group there, is at the end of the chain. It's at the end of the chain. Okay? So this is your CH3. Well, let me just draw the structure out completely. Okay? Then I have a CH2, H, 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 H. Then I have what? Your double bonded to what? Your C. Okay? C. This H here, this H here, H, H, okay, no, H, H, then there's what? Another word, C here, the border to O, then now what's your H, okay? So as you can see, this is what now, uh, it is, it is, it is what? It is at the what? At the end of the chain. This carbonyl group is at the end of the chain. So that's why this will be what? An aldehyde. Okay, it's definitely an aldehyde. So they say A, alkanol, B, alkanol, C, alkanol, D, alkanol. It's definitely they will put alkanol there to confuse you. Okay, but the answer there is what? It's alkanol. Okay, all the aldehyde. Alkanol. All right, so that is what? That's for that. Okay, now let us see. Um, 19, this is 2001. Okay, this is 1994 question number 44. It is being displayed on the screen. 1994 number 44. They say the general formula of alkanones is alkanones. Okay, so what? R2CO. All right. So I have R here. Okay, you have C double to O, then you have what? R. Okay, they, have, they may ever be the same or, or different. Okay, so if you see it like this or you see it like this, it's very correct. So the correct answer there will be what? Option B. As it's been shown. Arrow C O O R O is what? That esters. That's what esters. So we'll get to esters soon. Then let's see 2001 number 36. The general formula for the alkanals is what? Arrow C H O. We talked about that one from the beginning. Okay. So arrow C H O, that would be our option D. So there are thousands of other questions from this application. Jump on the application immediately, download it from Play Store, activate it for your little token, and start practicing your way to success. My name is Master T, the Grand Commander of this great O3 Schools Army. Be a soldier, keep studying. I'll see you in the next episode. We'll talk about preparations of all the heights and ketones. See you there.